Hi, this is Ron Gannett. And during these summer months here at Community Church in Saddlebrook, we're asking ourselves, how can we glean the wisdom of Proverbs and make that wisdom our life? Well, you know, I love what he says in chapter 10 and verse 7. He says, the memory of the righteous will be a blessing, but the name of the wicked will rot. You know, here Solomon is saying, if we take God's wisdom and allow it to shape us, our lives at the end, we will look back and see that we've created a memory of blessing in the lives of those we love. But if we don't, our memory may bring rottenness to other people's minds, to their hearts, and even to their souls. You know, I love that. I love that, that the memory of the righteous will be a blessing. I ask you, how do you want to be remembered? How do you want your family and your friends to remember you? My friends, you can either choose blessing or wickedness, and the result of righteousness will create memories that will last a lifetime and even shape the lives of those who are coming behind you. One of the favorite pictures I have of my father is one I just snapped candidly as he was sitting at our cottage in Canada reading the Bible. And there's my dad just reading the scriptures. And I'll tell you, every one of my siblings and my grandchildren and my nieces and nephews have all asked for a copy of that picture because it reminds them of the righteous way he tried to live before God and before man. His memory is a blessing every time we see that picture. And then I think of my dear mother. My mother was probably one of the most generous souls I've ever met. I remember one Christmas, we were all getting ready for our turkey dinner, and my mother quickly put together on a paper plate uh, some turkey and dressing and potatoes and vegetables and salad and dessert, and gave it to my dad and said, said, Alden, I want you to take this over to Mrs. So-and-so. And then when you get back, we'll have our turkey dinner. Well, you know, I had dad asked me if I would like to go with him. And we went down to the other side of the tracks to the projects area to where a very poor woman lived. And there we knocked on the door, we walked in, and we gave her this meal. My dad and I held her hands as he prayed God's blessing upon her on this Christmas day and gave her this food in the name of Jesus Christ. Well, we got home and mom asked if we had delivered the treasures and we had, and we as a family sat down and enjoyed our Christmas celebration. But you know, I remember that act of righteousness in the life of my mother. And today it blesses me and encourages me to be generous to those that God places in my path. Oh, my friends, the proverb says, that the righteousness, the memories we create, will be a blessing to those that follow. Let's go out today and live and act in all of God's righteousness and his wisdom and create memories that will last a lifetime.